Hey everybody, I'm here for In My Mailbox this week, and I have a ton of books to tell you about, show you, and all that wonderful stuff. So, um, I just need to go ahead and get started. Um, first off, I wanted to show off, um, a books I went to, uh, the final Breathless Reads tour stop in, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, the other week, and I just wanted to show off, um, the books that I got to find. Um, The Eternal Ones by Kirsten Miller. And she wrote two for James. Hope you liked it. Um, except for the fact that I haven't actually read it yet, <laughs> which I feel really bad about. Um, but I really do want to read it. Um, Across the Universe by Beth Rivas. And she wrote two James, Reach for the Stars. I don't know. Hopefully okay, you guys can see it. Um, the Replacement by Brennan Yovanov. And she wrote two James, Ugly Is As Ugly Does. And then Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. And, oh yeah, I got those two. Um, two James, Dream Wild. Cool. Yeah, and then I got um, bookmarks for each of them, actually. Um, Across the Universe. Um, the Eternal Ones. Uh, Nightshade, and Matched. Matched is the final book, um, the fifth author who was there, but I already had a book signed from her, um, from, uh, BEA, when I originally got the advanced copy. Um, uh, let me show something, um, I got this, like, a month ago, and I completely forgot <laughs> to, um, show it off and mention it and stuff, um, because it's not what I would normally read, so I kind of forgot about it. Um, but, uh, the book is I Totally Meant to Do That by Jane Borden, and it looks like a funny memoir sort of thing, and, um, it, was funny, it came really randomly. I had no idea that it was coming. I didn't recall any, um, publicist asking me about it or saying, you know, hey, we're sending you a copy of this book, you know, even though I said I didn't you know, even though I don't actually want it, um, anyway, so, and, but this card was in it, and it says, Dear James, thank you for considering my book, check out the map in the, um, and then I think I couldn't figure out what the, what the rest was, check out the map in the, I don't know, um, and then it's signed, Jane, P.S. flip over the card, the fl flip over, the card, not your body, for a high five, and so there's this, and then there's a hand drawn on the back, where you can high five it, and, um, but I thought this was really funny, because I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask to con consider your, I, I, so I had no idea, but it looks interesting, and, um, and I may see if she's coming, she's doing a few North Carolina stops, I may think about going to one, um, Oh, by the way, it has a blurb on the back from Amy Poehler, and I love Amy Poehler, so, um, yeah, so it should be fun, and, uh, so I'll put that off to the side now that I'm done with it, um, <laughs> and, oh my god, I don't even know where to start, okay, well, um, this week I got a package from Penguin, and it contained, uh, Dreamland Social Club by Tara Alta Brando, and I'm really excited to read this book because I loved, um, Tara's, um, I think it was, I guess it was, it may have been her previous book, um, What Happened in Vegas, and I think that's what it was called, and <laughs> that's really bad that I don't even remember what, you know, the title of the book was called, um, but anyway, so I'm really excited to read this, uh, it looks really good, um, So Much Closer by Suzanne Colasanti. And, uh, now, with me having this book, it means that I have three Suzanne books that I have yet to read. Because <laughs> I have advanced copies for Waiting For You, um, Something Like Fate, and now this one. And, um, so, expect around May time, re tons of reviews of Suzanne's books. <laughs> so that, I, you know, because I, I really do want to read them. They're really good. I, I read, um, Take Me There. I really enjoyed that one, so I'm really excited to read the rest of these. And then, um, Brother, Sister by Sean Olin. And I hadn't actually 
heard of this book before. I had requested, well, I hadn't requested so much cool stuff, but I did want it. Um, and I had and I had requested Dreamland Social Club, but I hadn't requested this one. But it looks really interesting. It's a gripping psychological thriller, which sounds good. And um, it's just, I mean, it looks like a really good book. So um, it's coming out in June. And then I got something from Random House, um, Orchards by Holly Thompson. And originally I was going to donate this, but then I saw that it was um, a book written in verse. And I think, like, Ellen Hopkins wrote, maybe not, I don't know. Um, I feel like Ellen Hopkins wrote a blurb for it, but maybe, maybe not. Um, maybe I'm making, oh no, it's right on the front. Um, so, um, but it was in verse, so I was just like, oh, well, I can just read that. And I probably will still do it at the library, but I'll probably try and read it first, read and review it first. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this off or not, um, Home to Wolfield by Susan Juby. Um, it's my first, uh, ever Goodreads contest and win. So, um, I'm really excited, and, um, I've loved, um, Susan's, uh, previous books, and so I'm really excited to read this new one. Um, when I was at that North Carolina event, um, the Breathless Reads Tour, I met up with, um, Michelle, and I think we're actually rooming together, not together, but we're, we'll be in the same place, um, for BEA, um, and we traded books, um, I, g I brought my copy of The Gathering by Kelly Armstrong, and she gave me her copy of The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan, and so I'm really excited to read this, and, um, yes, I'm really, just really excited comes out later this month. Um, I also got a copy of Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton, which looks good. And uh, The Secret Journeys of Jack London, The Wild by Christopher Golden and Tim Levin. And uh, this will probably get donated to the library because um, <laughs> I didn't really want it. Um, I got Abandoned by Meg Cabot. And of course, I'm really, really excited to read this. Um, I've been looking forward to this book since they announced it, like, three years ago when she made the deal with Scholastic. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, it came in the package, and there's a little sticker attached to it, and, um, which reads, She didn't fall into his world. She was taken. So I cut it out and kept it, um, and kept it because I thought that was really cool. Um, and I got, uh, a package from Disney. Uh, which feature, which um, had uh, From Bad to Cursed by Katie Allender. Um, I loved, loved, loved um, Bad Girls Don't Die, um, Katie's uh, first book. And this is the second book in that series. And, of course, something spooky and supernatural is happening yet again to um, the character from Bad Girls Don't Die. And so I'm really excited to read this. Um, it comes out in June. And... The Royal Treatment by Lindsay Levitt, which is the second book in the Princess for Hire series, and I love Lindsay. She's such a sweetie, and I'm really excited to read the next, uh, the next adventure featuring, uh, the, the character Desi. And then they also included a little postcard for Sharks and Boys by Kristen Tracy, which sounds interesting, and it's coming out in sometime this summer. Um, I am going to be part, um, here's actually another Lindsay Levitt book. I'm going to be part of, um, a blog tour that Bloomsbury is running, um, for her, um, the book coming out this month, and I think it's already out, actually, um, Sean Griswold's Head, and I'm really excited to read this book. My tour stop is on March 15th, um, so be sure to come by and check it out, and, uh, I'm going to have a review a small interview with Lindsay, and I think that's really about it. Um, maybe a contest I'll see, maybe about giving this away, but I might not. Um, <laughs> I also got, let me take this off, um, <laughs> Fins Are Forever by Tara Lynn Childs, which I'm really excited about. And, um, it was so sweet because, um, Tara actually, because I emailed her, we were talking about, um, the Sweet Venom cover, re uh, reveal, and she, uh, you know, and I was wondering, again, like, what, are you going to put together a blogger list, um, for Fins Are Forever, like you did for, um, Forgive My Fins last year, and she said, well, actually, my publisher told me that they already ran out of copies, so they didn't need my list, and I was like, oh, okay, and she said, but she said, just go ahead and pester them anyway, maybe, this, maybe they'll find one, 
And, um, but then, as it turns out, they actually did need her list, um, and I didn't know this until after the fact, but, um, and this showed up on my door because she put me on her list, um, and, it, and I was one of three uh, bloggers that she put as must sends. So I felt very um, special, and she's so sweet. Um, I didn't show this off um, a couple weeks ago because I didn't have, I didn't do a vlog that week. Um, but I wanted to show off that I have a copy of Divergent by Veronica Roth, and this comes out in May, and um, my friend Susan from Waste Paper Prose is letting me borrow this, um, and so I'm really excited to read it. And that's all the books I have to show you. Let me go ahead and see if I can talk about anything else. Damn, 10 minutes. Um, although I think I could upload up to 15 minutes now. So we'll go. So we'll continue because I just have a just thing. I got a bunch of stuff from uh, NetGalley and Simon and Schuster Galley Grab uh, over the past couple weeks, and so I just want to just blurt out all these names. Um, um, and I got Fourth Grade Fairy by Eileen Cook um, because I loved Eileen's first book, and I still haven't yet to, I have yet to read her second and third books, and this is the start of a new middle grade series. Um, would you stop it? <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, so this first book comes out in April, and then the sec second one comes out in June, the third one comes out in August. So, um, so she's whipping them out. Um, so, um, and I started reading it today, and it's really good. Um, Dark Parties by Sarah Grant, Always a Witch by Carolyn McCullough, Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly, Between Here and Forever by Elizabeth Scott, Dead is Not an Option by Marlene Perez, Die for Me by Amy Plum, Lost Voices by Sarah Porter, Populazzi by Elise Allen, Possession by Alana Johnson, Rage by Jackie Morse Kessler, Star Crossed by Josephine Angelini, Stay by Deb Coletti. I've never actually read any of Deb's books, but I figured, well, I have a link to download a copy of it. I might as well go ahead and you know see if I can get around to it. Um, the Day Before by Lisa Schroeder, which I'm really excited for. Um, the Goddess Test by Amy Carter, which um, Gail kept talking about on Twitter, and so I was just like, well, let me go ahead and I'll download it, and, and it sounds interesting, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then finally, The Lipstick Laws by Amy Holder. So, so that's all the books that I have to tell you about, and um, I apologize for the extremely long running time, um, but, you know, there's a list right below um, the video on my blog. So, I... Hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.